Welcome to our CCPS Science Review Lab. Come look at my images today and tell me what you see. Onions and Earth? What do those have in common? Layers, you say? Absolutely. Today we're going to take a quick look and remember the different layers of Earth. Now that outermost layer that we spend our time on, we know that's the crust. Obviously a solid. Then as we move down, we travel into the mantle. That mantle is that plasticky, play-doh-y type material that's not quite a liquid and not quite a solid, but yet we have convection currents running through it. That's our mantle. It's made up of magma. Get beyond that into further into the earth's into the earth, and we have our outer core. That is a liquid made up primarily of iron and other metals. Then in, beyond that, we have our inner core. Now that inner core is so incredibly hot that it actually should be a liquid, but because of the intense pressure on it, it's actually a solid. So if we're working from the inside out, we've got a solid layer, liquid layer, a semi-solid, semi-liquid convecting mantle, and then we have our crust. When we talk about um, the crust, some scientists will talk about it and call it the lithosphere. And what they're talking about is the crust and the uppermost part of the mantle. So the part of the mantle that is furthest away from the core and it is the most solid, okay? Then right under that, you're going to have the asthenosphere, okay? And then beyond that, you have the regular mantle. Now, here's an opportunity for you to show what you know. Think about what we just talked about in terms of the temperature of each layer and tell me which one do you think is most dense time to show what you know good luck